There is immense pride felt here in Morrisville among the South Indian community. The results of this presidential election means there was representation under this administration with Vice President Kamala Harris, and it will continue with soon-to-be second lady Usha Vance. It's a proud moment for all Indian women. You can hear just how thrilled Divya Ramalingam is about the South Indian representation in the White House continuing. Even I got goosebumps. <laughs> Yes. She's a native of what was once a French colony in South India and supporter of former President Donald Trump. Another Trump term means J.D. Vance will become vice president and his wife Usha will make history as the first Indian American and Hindu second lady. I shared with my mom this morning and she was also talking about this and uh, they are very much happy. She and her husband Srini sitting down with me in their Morrisville home. They work in the tech industry and have two children. Today, both beaming with pride because of the possibilities that now exist for their four-year-old daughter, Sasmitha. When she born, I don't know why it, I, got, I got the thought. When I lifted her, future president of America. Confident that their daughter could one day become the commander-in-chief. A smart girl, and she, as she said, if you ask any questions, so she will be able to answer certain context. So that much... Uh, up to her level. Usha Vance is 38 years old and is also set to be the youngest second lady since the Truman administration. The Ramalingams believe her rise to the White House continues raising the profile of South Asian women as Vice President Kamala Harris, who also has South Asian roots, prepares to exit. And that is a big thing for uh, our people. 